Hey guys, Jessica here. So today we're going to talk about what we're actually looking at when we're doing a virtual franchising in terms of what photos and videos are of true clinical value. And when you send those to me, what exactly am I looking at them for? Because sometimes moms are concerned, like, why would you need all these photos and videos? And I fully acknowledge and respect the fact that when I'm doing virtual lactation care, I'm often dealing with very sensitive, vulnerable photos. And I'm looking at them from a clinical nature, but I also understand, especially in light of recent events and in light of many people out there who have scammed breastfeeding mothers related to pumping care, that let's make sure that you know what somebody's looking for so you can spot when somebody's asking for something that they do not need and they should not have. So let's talk about it. So when I'm doing a franchising, I'm asking initially for a photo of the front and side of the nipple without anything on it. The reason I'm asking for that is I'm checking the anatomical shape of the nipple. I'm checking, you know, how is the areola shaped in regards to the breast tissue? Do we have any wounds? Is there any signs of damage that can occur? Sometimes it's subtle, sometimes it's not subtle. I'm looking for the condition of the nipple skin, looking for signs that could tell me, is there a latching issue? Is there a pumping issue? Is there something that I need to know about this mom's nipple anatomy before I go and try and size her? And then asking for photos in the flanges, typically front and side, um, depending on your pump setup. But what I'm looking at here is how does the flange fit against your breast? So this is a pump flange. This is a pump flange. They are not shaped the same. So they are not going to fit the same moms. Some moms may get lucky and they may fit both. Or some moms may fit one better than the other. What I'm looking for is how is this flange that you have fitting you so that I can recommend do you need a different shape? Is it a sizing issue? Is it a shape issue? Is it the texture of the flange that could be causing problems? I'm looking at how it's going to fit your anatomy. We're also getting pumping videos. So when we do pumping videos, we're looking at the nipple from the front and the side in the flange so I can see how is it centered? How is it moving? Is the whole thing moving? Are we pulling areola into the tunnel? Is the base of the nipple stuck? A big thing that I'm doing is, let me grab my ruler right here. I'm looking for measurement photos. So this is a ruler that is available for free download on my website. It is intended for virtual lactation care. I designed it to be able to do what I needed to do without seeing you in person. So what we're doing with this is we're going to line this up to the nipple and you're going to send me pictures like this. And then I'm going to actually take that picture and I'm going to blow it up and I'm going to get an exact measurement for your nipple. Because when I'm looking at a body part that is on average between one to two millimeters or one to two centimeters, sorry, one to two centimeters, we're not talking about a very big body part. And I need a very precise measurement because there are lots of pumps out there where sizing issues cause challenges. So I need to know exactly what that nipple measures to be able to recommend something. Otherwise, we're stuck with the old fashioned, well, here's a couple sizes to try that are roughly around yours and let's see what happens. I personally don't like that approach. I'm asking for those very specific photos. We're also taking, we go back to this image. We're using how this fits. You know, if this is a 24 flange and it's got a big gap and then I measure you with that ruler and there's not really a size that makes sense with having that big gap. Let's say you measure 22 and that 24 millimeter flange looked way bigger. Then I know we had a printing issue. So we're constantly cross checking between the photos to say, does everything we see make sense? And then we get, bra fit checks. So we also get post pump pictures. So if you're using a wearable option, what I have you do is after you remove your wearable, I'm going to have you take a picture of the nipple front and side. And the reason for that is I'm checking, was it aligned correctly? Is it causing swelling? Is it causing irritation? What marks are on the nipple and what do they tell me? So all of these photos though, do not require you to take a full frontal nude photo. Do I have moms who send it in and you can see both breasts? Absolutely. Do they have to? No, I actually recommend crop. If you are doing virtual lactation care, crop your photos to where we only see what we need to see. The more cropped in the photo, the less value it could have to some pervert out there. So we're just keeping ourselves safe. We're making sure that the information we submit is of a clinical nature and is not something that could be repurposed by some pervert out there. And that is what we have seen happen in some of these breastfeeding groups. So I'm here to help you make sure that you stay safe. That is not a risk that you have when you come to my practice. We're going to keep it all secure because we're going to talk about where those photos and videos go. But that would be my recommendation is crop it. Let's keep it, keep it to just what we need to see. Now, bra fit checks. 
we can check two different types of bra fit. So we'll sometimes check your wearable in your bra and we are gonna see, in order to see, we need to see from about your rib cage up because I need to see how the band fits, how the cup's fitting. The furthest I need to see back is your armpit. We do have part of the test where we tell you to bend over, but what we're looking for is that if the bra fits right, the pumps stay right. You do, you do not need to shimmy. You do not need to shake. You do not need to do anything that would be suggestive. If you feel like you need to, then you need to come talk to me because that's not what I was asking for and we need to help you better protect yourself because I think that would be a very vulnerable video to send to somebody. It would make me really uncomfortable to send that to somebody. And I, when I was breastfeeding my youngest, was sending photos to the people helping me virtually without really any concern for that. We also check, sometimes when we're doing the photos and the videos, we're checking the fit of the flange in the bra. So if you're using a hands-free bra, we need this flange to be properly sealed to the breast. What I see a lot is bras that are allowing everything to tip down because the band is too big, there's no support. And then what we're looking for is if this is starting to pull away. So we are looking at a little bit more than just the nipple in the pumping videos and the bra fit checks. But again, we are looking for a very specific purpose. If you were not sure why somebody was asking for a photo or a video, particularly if you're working with me, if you're not sure why I'm asking for that, please ask me. I am always happy to tell you, here's what I'm looking for. Here's what I would request that photo or video for. And if you say, I'm not comfortable with that, then I'm going to go to, okay, well, here is what you are comfortable telling me or showing me. And here's what I can extrapolate from that. And here's what I would not be able to extrapolate. But I am going to give you information about what to look for if you're trying to DIY it because you don't feel comfortable sharing things. I have had moms who we did flangeizings where she was so adamant she was not sending anybody a photo of her nipple. She was not showing anybody. We literally did it by drawings on a post-it note and we eventually got to where we needed to get and that is, it was a wonderful experience for that mom because I was able to meet her where she was at. Most moms though, the quickest way to get your answers is going to be to send the photos and videos or to be extremely patient as we work through it. So down below, if you are somebody who is not comfortable with virtual franchising care, I'm gonna link you to the DIY resources. Not everybody needs professional franchising support. On my website, there are resources for franchising. There's a whole guide to franchising. There is a calculator that's gonna spit out some basic numbers that tell you if you measure 17, here's what I would recommend based on your anatomy. You're going to look at that chart and kind of go from there. It tells you how to check if it's fitting. Now, is that going to work for everybody? No. I do have a free franchising course that I include on the website as well that you can sign up for at the link down below. And if you watch that, it increases the chances that you're going to be fine with DIY sizing. But the best I can get it is to only about 60 to 70% of moms being able to successfully do the DIY approach, the other 30 to 40%, even after they've done the DIY stuff correctly, they've paid attention to it, they've been careful, they're still not getting the results they need because there's something about their anatomy that we cannot capture in terms of generalized instructions. So those are the moms that we do recommend virtual care. Um, you can also see somebody in person. You do need to vet the people that you're seeing in person to make sure they're actually a pro with franchising and with the pumps you're trying to use because it's not fair to expect the hospital LC who has minimal to no training to know anything about your fancy luxury wearable and how to maintain it, especially when they're typically seeing you in the first week postpartum and you're going to be using this for a long time after. So that's my spiel on franchising. You can click the links down below for the DIY resources if you need professional help please you feel free to reach out. Um, the other thing I said I would talk to you about is where do these photos and videos go? So in my practice, I have a secure portal. It's through Practice Better currently. I've changed my portal a couple times, so you know, we'll see how well this video ages. But I use Google Forms. Um, I'm using a secure Google Drive in which I have a agreement with Google Drive that I have signed that allows it to be HIPAA compliant. So that is a secure Google Drive. It's going to give me the access to those photos and videos, but nobody else has access to them. It does allow me to keep things organized because on average, about 50 moms a week are coming through my private practice. Sometimes it's a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less. Private practice ebbs and flows. But about 50 sets of photos and videos are coming in per week. And if I'm trying to keep those straight, I really need to know, you know, this was a left nipple, this was a right nipple. Otherwise it slows down how fast I can provide the support. So in my practice, they're going through a secure portal or they're going through that secure Google Drop or the Google form. 
So all of those photos are kept secure. I do not recommend sending me photos on Facebook. I do not recommend sending me the photos by email. I do have moms who choose to do that. And, you know, personally for me, I don't care. If that is what you feel like is going to best help you in your accepting those risks, you know, I don't do anything about it. Some people have different lines. Some people have different boundaries. Some lactation consultants get really upset if you send those photos to their personal accounts because it is not secure. I just encourage moms to use my secure means, but I also meet my moms where they're at. So that is what I want you to know about virtual franchising. If somebody's asking you for photos or videos that seem outside of what I just told you, I would love to know what they're asking you for and I will help you figure out if it is legit or not because I do not want you in a compromised position. And these are sensitive photos. We just saw a scam where somebody used franchising to and a false identity to obtain who knows how many very sensitive, very sexualized photos and videos of people. Those moms were victims of sexual exploitation. I don't want that for you. And I don't appreciate that people can use my profession as a means to exploit people. So this is what I want you to know to help you keep yourself safe. If somebody's asking you for something that doesn't make sense, ask questions. If you see red flags and they can't answer your questions, bounce. Um, I'll also link down below how to verify your LC so that you can hopefully prevent you from falling for a scam with one of these virtual sizing services that is not legit. So let me know if you have any questions. I hate that I even had to make this video, uh, but hopefully I'll, if it helps one mom, it was worth the time today for me to be able to explain it to you. So hopefully that helps and let me know if you have any questions.